Hey everybody, welcome to Board Online Board Offline. Today we have our top three most played games of December 2021. Now we're gonna have a lot of top lists in January as we usually do. This is the first of several upcoming, so be sure to keep checking back for different ones. We'll have the uh, our favorite new to us games of 2021. We're gonna have our most played games of all time based off of individual plays. That's what we do in January. Back in November, we did number of hours played in January. January will do uh, the number of individual plays and I might have a few others coming up as well that one with the most plays of all time will have a giveaway as well so be sure to come back for that now let's get right into the list we're gonna do three minutes for our top three most played games of December also just for a few stats for December we had 37 plays of 17 different games for a total of about 24 hours worth of play time. So without anything else, let's get right into the list. And we start with number three, Mandala Stones with four plays. Mandala Stones is this really pretty abstract game. I mean, it, it, the, it's got these beautiful colors and these nice chunky pieces, um, uh, ceramic tiles that are stacked on the board. Uh, you have four stacks, I think it's, about 25 different stacks maybe i think it's 25 different stacks and each player is moving these other columns around the board there's four of these black columns that are called artists and you move them around the board and when you place a, uh, an artist in between uh four stacks then you're going to take all of the stones that have the same uh, uh pattern as that artist there's only two patterns in the game but the key is if another artist is next to a stack, then that one is that one can't be touched. So you're moving these artists around. As you collect them, you put them on your board, on your personal board, in these different stacks. And uh, eventually, once you have multiple multiple of the same color, you can score, and uh, you'll score only for those colors. And then also the scores are different depending on how tall the stacks are. There's a lot of really good choices there. That's Mandala Stones. Number two is Sleeping Queens with six plays. This is a game that my kids got for Christmas and really, really enjoy. It's uh, got basically there's all these kings in the it's a card game all these kings in the card deck uh there's 16 queens that start the game face down as you play kings you're then able to wake up queens and they're worth different varying points and everything uh the first player to a certain number of points or a certain number of queens based off of the player count wins the game it's uh i mean it's it's fun for a kids game you know they love it. I think also it would be fun for people who are used to some more uh, traditional games. I mean, I have fun playing it because they're having fun playing it. Uh, but it, and also, though, if you are somebody who is more used to traditional games, that uh, traditional card games, this one might kind of feel like that. It's, it's definitely got a little bit more to it than a lot of traditional 52 card deck games, but it still could be fun for that same uh, style of gamer. And then finally, number one, Bismarck Solitaire with seven plays. This is a game book. It is solo only. It is a World War II game book, naval battles. Uh, you Basically, every uh, scenario only takes place on two pages. The top page has all the different events that the enemy is going to throw at you. The bottom page has a map of... Um, uh, of the area that you're fighting, uh, and then or the area that you're that you're sailing around, and um, there's there's uh, different charts on there that you have to deal with as far as the enemy boats, the your boats. You actually only have three. You have the Bismarck, the Prince, and the uh, the Prince Eugene, and then and that's my time, and then also a uh, submarine and so as you're going around you'll have a different mission for like a different objective for each mission you try to uh, secure that within a certain number of turns i think the max turns per mission is 20. Uh, usually you're trying to complete something within 16 17 turns or, or and then get back to port basically is the idea because you are outgunned and so it's kind of how long can you evade the other ships uh before you know it's just too much and you get taken out 
pretty interesting game. I've really enjoyed it so far. I take it with me when I go on, you know, in the car or whatever. If I'm, if I'm not driving, obviously. A lot of fun. Bismarck Solitaire. That is our top three most played games in December 2021. I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back for all our other lists we're putting out this month. Some other great videos coming too. And until next time, if you're bored online, bored offline.